Good morning guys, I hope you're all having a great day today. And we're going to continue with the reading of the E.T. letter from back in 2002. We're on the What is Your Situation section. Except for rare occasions, our interventions always had very little incidence on your capacity to make collective and individual decisions about your own future. This is motivated by our knowledge of your deep psychological mechanisms. We reached the conclusion that freedom is built every day as a being becomes aware of himself and his environment, getting progressively rid of constraints and inertias, whatever they may be. Despite the numerous brave and willing human consciences, those inertias are artificially maintained for the profit of a growing centralizing power. It's called the deep state, the cabal. Until recently, Mankind lived a, a satisfying control of its decisions, but it is losing more and more the control of its own fate because of the growing use of advanced technologies, which lethal consequences on the earthly and human ecosystems become irreversible. So what happened in Maui, um, there is actually video of directed energy weapons starting the fires. There you go. You are slowly but surely losing your extraordinary capacity to make life desirable. Your resilience will artificially decrease, independently of your own will. Such technologies exist that affect your, uh, your body as well as your mind. Such plans are on their way. MK Ultra, stuff like that. And far worse. This can change as long as you keep this creative power in you even if it cohabits with the dark intentions of your potential lords. This is the reason why we remain invisible. This individual power is doomed to vanish should a collective reaction of great magnitude, magnitude not happen. The period to come is that of, once again, rupture. Rapture. Whichever it may be. But should you wait for the last moment to find solutions? Should you anticipate or undergo pain? Your history has never ceased to be marked by encounters between peoples who had to discover one another in conditions that were often conflictual. Look at what happened with uh, the United States and uh, Cortez discovering the many peoples over here, along with Columbus. <clears throat> Conquests almost always happened to the detriment of others. Earth has now become a village where everyone knows everyone uh, else, but still conflicts persist and threats of all kinds get worse in duration and intensity. Yeah, we have the internet, and yet uh, the cabal is perpetu perpetuating this racism to uh, and prejudices to an insane point. Although a human being is an individual, yet having many potential capacities, cannot exercise them with dignity. This is the case for the biggest majority of you, for reasons that are essentially geopolitical. There are several billion of you. The education of your children and your living conditions, as well as the conditions of numerous animals and much plant life, are nevertheless under the thumb of a small number of your political, financial, military, and religious representatives. Bill Gates controlling a gigantic portion of the farmland of the United States, for example. Your thoughts and beliefs are modeled after partisan interests to turn you into slaves, while at the same time giving you the feeling that you are in total control of your destiny. Which, in essence, is the reality. But there is a long way between a wish and a fact when the true rules of the game at hand are unknown. They're keeping everything occluded to you. It was insanely difficult to figure out what was going on with the COVID nonsense. And a lot of us might look back on it and say, uh, and say oh, that was obvious that the government was manipulating us. It was not obvious, okay? It's, it's, it's complicated and convoluted intentionally by these jackasses. <clears throat> this time, you are not the conqueror. Biasing information is a millenary strategy for human beings. It's been going on for millennia. 
inducting thoughts, emotions, or organisms that do not belong to you via ad hoc technologies is an even older strategy. Wonderful opportunities of progress stand close to big subjugal and destruction threats. These dangers and opportunities exist now. However, you can only perceive what is being shown to you. The end of natural resources is programmed, whereas no long-term collective project has been launched. And that has changed. We now have uh, nuclear fusion. Pretty damn cool. <laughs> and many other little changes to this situation. Ecosystem exhaustion mechanisms have exceeded irreversible limits. I disagree with that. The scarcity of resources and their unfair distribution, resources which uh, entry price will rise day after day, will bring about fratricide fights at a large scale, but also at the very heart of your cities and countryside. Um, no longer the case. That is no longer the case. Uh, now the prices are going up of things like oil and whatnot, and they're not actually limited as, as much as we originally thought. But, um, yeah. It's, it's incredible how, how one little detail can screw up an entire argument. Now in this case, we just shift that one little thing, and we can fix the situation. It is a control grid, a constellation of different variables that need to be exactly in the right place to actually take us down as a society. And um, that one little variable has been changed. So we'll see where it goes. The scarcity of resources and their unfair distribution, resources which entry price, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I already read that part. Hatred grows bigger, but so does love. This is what keeps you confident in your ability to find solutions. But the critical mass is insufficient, and the sabotage work is clearly being carried out. It was insufficient, and I guess it's still potentially possible for it to be insufficient. Um, we'll see. Critical mass is insufficient to get everybody. But if we have this rapture thing that is supposed to occur, uh, we shall see. Uh, then we'll at least be able to save those people who get raptured, quote-unquote. Human behaviors formed from past habits and trainings have such an inertia that this perspective leads you to a dead end. You entrust these problems to representatives whose conscience of common well-being slowly fades away in front of corporatist interests with those difficulties. They are always debating on the form, but rarely on the content. Yes, that's obvious. You know, so uh, the Republicans and the Democrats debate whether to increase the debt by one trillion or two trillion. Either way, they're still increasing the debt. You get the point. Just at the moment of action, delays will accumulate to the point when you have to submit rather than choose. This is the reason why more than ever in your history, your decisions of today will directly and significantly impact your survival of tomorrow. And also on that point where $1 trillion, $2 trillion X, uh, added to the debt, they don't really de uh, debate the content. Uh, we can see something like that with the uh, whole Speaker debacle, Speaker of the House uh, in the Republican Party. Um, they just insisted on getting a rhino in there. They insisted. So, we'll see how that actually pans out. What event could radically modify this inertia that is typical of any civilization? Where will a collective and unifying awareness, unifying awareness come from that will stop this blind rushing ahead? Tribes, populations, and human nations have always encountered and interacted with one another. Faced with the threats weighing upon the human family, it is, in, uh, it is perhaps time that a greater interaction occurred. A great roller uh, wave uh, is on the verge of emerging. 
it mixes very positive, but also very negative aspects. And that's it for today. We'll continue with the next part tomorrow. Love you all. Peace.